This request is from Jason Santi. He's a long time dedicated viewer. He requested that I make an episode on this bottle trick that he knows of. It's really simple and it looks awesome. Okay, Matt, here we go. Check this out. All you do is get a bottle, fill it with alcohol, shake it up, put a lighter to it, and bam, let it do its thing. Shake it up. So Jason said that this was the best bottle shape for this experiment, but I think it could have been a lot more exciting. Sorry, Jason. So I'm gonna put a little twist on this, get some compressed air, and pressurize this alcohol and see what happens. All right, let's try that. Yeah, I don't know. This alcohol is boring. I think I'm going to move on to something else. Damn, nitromethane's expensive. Yeah, baby, nitromethane. And I've never seen this tried before with nitromethane, so I'm really unsure what's going to happen. But I guess we're going to see. We're just going to make sure that I light this from a distance with a match taped to a broomstick. And we're all going to stand behind the blast shield for this one, because I don't know what's gonna happen. But, you're about to see. <laughs> oh, well that wasn't bad. That was the nitromethane. And after doing all that, I got curious and I decided to look at about 30 or 40 different bottle designs. And I ended up choosing this beauty right here. In this bottle, first I'm gonna burn alcohol, then I'm gonna burn nitromethane and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Now before finishing up this episode, I remember one other thing Jason said apart from the bottle shape. He said bigger was better. So as a grand finale for this episode, I went out and I bought the largest, clearest jug that I could find. That looks beautiful. And I figured, why not give it a shot?
Bottle's a little bit warmer now, so I think we're gonna have more of a violent burn here. All right, here it goes. Oh yeah, the bottle was a little warmer that time. That was nice. Well, that looked pretty cool. It was definitely louder than I expected and definitely louder than the alcohol. The nitromethane was, uh, yeah, it's pretty violent. And right after it finished burning right now, that's what happened. A cloud formed inside the bottle. And also I noticed that whatever nitromethane was left in there turned like this pretty amber color. I'm not sure if that's from the heat or there was some type of chemical change. But yeah, there you go. That's what nitromethane looks like burned in the whoosh bottle. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, just a bunch of fog. And I wish you could smell this. It kind of smells like the fuel from the RC cars. I mean, obviously it's nitro, but it smells a lot more acidic. I'm guessing that's because it burned, but it doesn't smell as bad as when you go to the track with the top fuel dragsters and your nose is on fire. It's not that bad at all. And it has this like sweet smell to it. And I'm, I'm assuming that's because not all the fuel burned simply because it was limited by the amount of oxygen that was in the bottle. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I never thought I would be burning nitromethane in a whoosh bottle. So thanks Jason Santee for the request in the first place. I'm glad I was able to put a twist on the whole thing. And if there's anything that you want to see done, just uh, let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message and I'll try my best to make it happen. So again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Check out the rest of our videos. Check us out on Discovery. And uh, that's about it. I'll leave this video there. Thanks again for watching. And got to get it just right for it to work.
I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, goodbye. Adios.